have a gothic haul for you. All sorts of things from jewelry to decor to toys. So let's get started. If you guys are new, do join and check out our spooky playlist. Turn on the spooky notification bell so that you may be terrorized by us daily or almost daily, however it works. I'm Morticia. This is our roommate Slappy and Gomez is behind the camera being a doll. Just like Slappy, except Gomez moves. Okay. Um, first, I want to start with one of my favorite pieces. This is a castle ring from Western Mountain. I've gotten a lot of stuff from her on Etsy. Her work is amazing. She does the old-fashioned wax casting and then puts it in sterling. She's awesome. She does her own carvings and designs. And this is all sterling silver, everything of hers. I'm actually wearing a little bat that I got from her that I already reviewed a while back on the finger between the castle and the cauldron. So um, she has great detail with her animals, but she has a castle pendant and I asked her if she would make a castle ring because I couldn't really find a castle ring online that I liked that would fit me that was good quality. There were so many criteria, I actually wanted it to fit and a lot of nice castle rings are like size seven, even if they're like stainless steel and a dollar on AliExpress, they will not fit me. So a dollar ring does not help if I can't wear it. Um, she can do this in any size you want. Um, I have, these are quartz crystal points here in this part in the turret here and I asked for quartz but she has it in amethyst and rose quartz and maybe other stuff so if you want like the royal purple you can get that in amethyst she has it on her main page and I'm going to put a link to that and then I'm going to also put her Etsy link but if you want the castle it's on the first link and that's her main page so um, it's forty dollars it's nice in 3d it's a little I'd say over an inch by almost an inch it's really nice detail and again, you can get it in any size, and I'm going to turn it around so you can see the band from the back. It's a nice sturdy width without being too chunky. So that is my lovely castle. I feel all princess-like and fairy tale-ish and spooky, so it's all good. Um, lovely, lovely work. Again, I can't say enough about it, and it's comfortable. I sleep in it and bathe in it and wear it all the time. And I've had it for like a few days and haven't taken it off, and it's comfortable. It doesn't catch on anything. It's just lovely. And I really appreciate her making it for me. She gave me a nice discount, too, because I gave her the idea for the castle as a ring, and I really appreciate that. But in general, it's 40 with the stones, with sterling silver. I mean, that's amazing. And with the work it's in, you, you can't do better. And I've seen a lot of lesser castles on Etsy for more money. So, yay. And this is quality. It's going to last you forever. The next ring I'm excited about, it's my other new favorite ring, because I love Alice in Wonderland, is this rabbit ring. He has a little teapot earring in his ear. He is from Geek Freak Boutique and it's Amazon handmade and it's brass. I like the filigree on this band. It reminds me of the pumpkin ring we got from um, Box of Goth in October, the snow globe pumpkin. And so it's size adjustable and it's kind of wide with cool filigree. So you've got the steampunk thing going on. This is brass and since Lewis Carroll like did his thing in the days of Victorian times and whatnot that's fitting he has a little teapot earring in his ear which is obviously fitting for the mad tea party and I love the white rabbit he's my favorite like well one of my favorite characters I guess if I had to choose one he would be my favorite but I love the Jabberwock as well so I just don't know but I can't find good Jabberwock jewelry so little earring in there. I'd only seen that before with like um, my cat choker here from Alchemy Gothic that I reviewed a while back um, and he's got a little bell in his ear so I hadn't really seen the earring in the jewelry pieces before. Now you've got earrings of your own and your jewelry's got earrings. Wow. So yeah he's got his little teapot earring. This is all 3D and I love it and it's a nice solid heavy ring and it's pretty big but I mean like that's good for me and you can totally see his rabbitness and I love it. Okay, let's see what is next. I'm like wearing stuff and then I'm like, I'll remember it because I'm wearing it. Okay, um, if you like crystal balls and you want to do the witchy scry thing, nothing's better than a whole bracelet full of them, I say. And this is quartz crystal from Fire Mountain. This is the largest one out of three that you get in a pack for either two or four dollars. I will leave the link below. Fire Mountain Gems is wholesale and they do a lot of jewelry supplies, but they also do like, um, ready-made jewelry that you can buy and these are stretch bracelets this is how it looks off and it's just clear quartz it matches with whatever you want to pair it with which is nice I have it with my garnets and little alchemy gothic bracelet that I made and then my two ravens I haven't taken off my torque bracelet and my Frankenstein we shall be monsters so they're all together hanging out um, it comes in a package of three so you get a little one that's about a six mil and then you get a middle one that's probably about a 10 mil and then the bigger one 
So, you know, you could stack them and wear them all together. That would look nice if you wanted to do that. Or you could just have different sizes for different moods or buy one and sell the rest or give them as gifts or whatever you want to do. But they're a nice sturdy stretch cord, which is cool. And so, yeah. And now for the final piece of jewelry. It's a garnet poison bottle. I love garnet and I love poison bottles, so this is perfect. I got this on eBay from Silver Guy 1 for $14. It's kind of dainty. The garnet in the middle is probably like a 2 mil. It's faceted and I love it. And then the poison bottle. This is sterling silver and it's got like really cool kind of ornate filigree work. It's got different patterns um, on the front and back and then the sides have their own little pattern. So that's the side. And then the back and then the front and the bottom is just flat and smooth and this is all sterling. And the clasp is, oh not the clasp, the uh, bail is like, it's not as ornate as the rest but it's like sturdy as well. The top of the bottle itself, not the bail, um, has the same filigree kind of as the front and back. And it, I'll show you how it works. You just unscrew it. And it's hard to unscrew, which is good because, you know, it won't be coming off and you won't lose your top while you're wearing it. So I'm trying to work it and be gentle. Okay, you unscrew it and then pull it slightly. And then there's a little tiny inside. So you could put like perfume in there if you wanted or herbs or another little stone or poison or nothing, whatever you want. Sometimes nothing can be something, right, Gomez? Yes. It's all about physics. And now it's screwed closed again, so that's how that works. It's small, and I like that because I can pair it with larger stuff, like my uh, raven piece here and then the cat choker. So it's all like a nice little combo thing going on. Lovely. And now let's move on to non-jewelry items. Oh, Slappy has them. Thank you, dear. This is a Jack Skellington keychain. It's kind of rubbery. It's the coffin with him on the front. And my mummy got it for me. Thank you, mummy. And, um, you, you know, he's kind of raised on the front. And that's cool. And I think she got this from a $5 and under store. Um, one of those kinds. But, you know, I'm sure if you're wanting one, they're everywhere. If you just look for a Jack Skellington coffin keychain, um, you will find it. This is about three, four inches long by a little over an inch wide at the top, I would say. And it's really lightweight, so the rubbery thing, I usually like metal or something, but when it's just, I'll probably use it to ornament a bag or whatever, like one of the kinds we take to the store that have Halloween stuff. And so with it, you know, being for that, it's nice and lightweight, which is good, because you don't want a bag that you're carrying heavy food and stuff in even heavier. And that's the back, just plain. So, that was five or under, probably under, who knows, but sometimes never before Christmas stuff can be overpriced. And now we have this pushing cat from the fall box. I didn't get this, but I was watching someone's unboxing, and I always look at the fall ones because, like, I love the witch, uh, not witch, the uh, bat one from last year, oh, from 2016. This year's hasn't come out yet, so 2016 is still last year for me. Okay. Um because 18's fall hasn't been here. So anyway, um, there was a bat that I reviewed, like a cat bat, when I got him. And this one is a similar make, except the bottom is better because it's actually flat, and the cat bat's bottom was a bit more rounded. So this one sits better. He doesn't overbalance himself. The other one always has to prop on something. This one doesn't have to. He's got his small tail. He, she, I think it's supposed to be her, but it's a he to me for some reason because it's like Cheshire. And little tiny little cat legs. I love the little whiskers. Those are the same as, as on all of them. And he's got a mushroom. So like I said to me, it's Cheshire, but this was the fall version. And I love mushrooms and cute kitties, so the combo had to happen. And he was like, I want to say 10 on eBay or something, because again, you just get it separately without the box. And I got him without his packaging, because I was going to take him out anyway. So that was cheaper. But this is the pushing from the fall box, pushing with mushroom, if you guys like him and want him her. So, like I said, I think the actual cat is a her, but it's a him to me. That's my little stylized Cheshire with a mushroom. And it's just like a, um, sort of a hollow, thick acrylic. So, it's sturdy as well as light. And again, he stands better than the poor bat cat. And I love the bat cat because it's so unique. Speaking of cats and being unique and Cheshire, our final beautiful piece is Cheshire Cat. The lying down version. This is put out by Disney and we ordered ours from Walmart online because we love Wonderland. He is so soft. Just like short fur so it won't go like all tangly but it's very soft and fine and really nice to stroke. Almost like a real kitty. And I love the detail work. He's got that beautiful smile, doesn't he Gomez? Yes. 
so Cheshire-ish. And he's got even, I love it when they do this on animals, stuffed animals, like they make it look realistic. You even have the little cloth claws on the little paws. And so that's awesome. And he's got that on the front and the back. The back ones are kind of retracted a little, but if you hold them up, there they are. So he's all snoozing, resting, or getting ready to take a nap, or just waking up from a nap. He's got a huge tail, like a squirrel, and I've seen some cats that do have huge tails, like squirrels. So he's got his big tail going on, and he's a good size, as you can tell. He was like $30, but most Disney items of anything are not going to be totally cheap, and the Wonderland ones, um, they had another Cheshire that was a little cheaper, but he was smaller, and he didn't look as cool. Like, he was more sitting up like a teddy bear. And Gomez and I just weren't as moved. We liked the more realistic look. And he's very charming. His little ears are kind of close together. And his little soft face. He's just very, very nice. And the eyes are stitched, which is, like, fine because they won't ever pop off or anything. If you have a child and you're letting the child play with it or something, it won't be an issue, which is nice. And just very nice detailing on the face. And a little bit pricey for a stuffed animal, but he's a good size. I mean, I would say over a foot if you hold his tail out like that and he's a nice nice cuddle size he's not too little so yeah he was nice walmart.com or i'm sure you could find him other places but i like this one where he's lying down it's really cool cheshire so i think that's everything we hope you've enjoyed and until next time stay spooky my friends <laughs>